Okay, everybody, this is your next tip. And uh, you know, this one is, is kind of funny, but uh, you know, it's not supposed to be easy. Uh, if, if it's not uncomfortable, it means you're not changing, you know, and so at this point, you know, many of you are, you know, that you're getting tired of waking up early, you're getting tired of doing the exercise, you're sore, you're, um, you know, you're getting tired of the food that you're eating or whatever the case is, it's not easy. And the, the reality is that it's not supposed to be easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. It's like being in a, a Navy SEAL or an Ironman or, you know, in the top 10% of your industry or your profession, whatever the case is, uh, you know, it's not supposed to be easy. You know, anything worthwhile in life is supposed to be difficult. That's what makes it worthwhile. You know, it's like you could be, you could get dropped off on the top of Mount Everest and you could say that you summited Mount Everest. You know, you've been to the summit. But that's not, the, that's not where the glory is. That's not where the beauty is. The beauty is in all the hours and days and probably years of training and then the, the journey that it took from base camp to the very top. You know, that's where, uh, that's where success and glory and greatness is created and forged. It's not just being at the top. You know, and so my encouragement for you today is, um, you know, number one, if you're uncomfortable, good. You should be. That means that change is happening in your life. And, be, and remember that you started this whole thing because you were tired of the, the old you. You wanted to go from point A to point B. You did not want to live at point A again. You wanted whatever point B was for you at this point in your life. And the, and the, the, the point is that it, it's got to be uncomfortable. There, there has to be discomfort in order for you to change. And then my second point is if you're not uncomfortable, then I have bad news for you. You're probably not changing. You know, you might be one of the people that are, that are saying, yeah, this exercise stuff's not working or the nutrition's not working. Well, guess what? You're probably doing it wrong. You know, exercise works 100% of the time last, I, last time I checked. But if you're sandbagging it, you're not, very, you're not very intense with it or you're not trying very hard, you know, I always say if you, if you can talk while you're exercising, that's, that's your warm up. You know, that's not the actual workout. You shouldn't be able to talk while you're working out. You should be sweating, breathing hard. It should be uncomfortable, you know, no pain, no gain. And that doesn't mean that you go hurt yourself, but it does mean that you look forward to the discomfort. You look forward to getting out of your comfort zone because that's where real change happens. It happens with fitness, with nutrition, with relationships, you know, going the extra mile, getting out of your comfort zone. Because again, if you just keep doing what you're comfortable with, you're going to keep getting the same old results. And that's the question. You know, if you want the same results that you've always got, then keep doing what you've always done. And that'll get you there, right? You've already tested it. You already know that's true. But if you want something different, if you want to become the best you ever, if you want to have your best year ever, then you've got to be willing to, be, to get uncomfortable, to get outside your comfort zone, to go, to go the extra mile and just make it happen. And, and I hope that you do, because I believe that you've got a purpose and a calling on your life and it requires greatness and it requires great effort. Not just you thinking you're great, but great effort. And the world depends on it. If every one of us would live up to our potential and walk in the greatness that we were created for, I can only imagine what this place would be like. So hopefully this helps you today. I can't wait to see the best you ever and for you to have the best year ever.